fellow dadpreneurs, a free ClickFunnels alternative? Not quite. This tool that I'm about to reveal to you is not just a funnel builder, it's a website builder. You can have a blog on it. You can sell digital products. You can sell physical products. It has upsells, downsells, order bumps. It also offers email marketing, email automation. So it's truly an all-in-one tool. It's more of a Kartra alternative and or a builder alternative, and it's a slick tool. Hey folks, my name is Adam Dukes, and I help dads escape employment by building a wildly profitable online business so that they can enjoy more dad time. So about six or eight months ago, a buddy of mine, Conrad, showed me this tool, and I had a quick look at it. I didn't do a deep dive into it, and I just kind of brushed it to the side. Well, a week ago, Conrad reached out again and said, hey man, they made some upgrades, they made some updates, they re vamp their website you should have a look so I went and checked it out the website looked great and so I ended up signing up for an account and messing around with it so the last couple days I've just been kind of playing around with it I'm no expert by any means but it's a very very simple tool to use if you're familiar with ClickFunnels there's a learning curve builder all there's an incredible learning curve Kartra there's a learning curve not to say this one doesn't have a learning curve but it seems like it's much easier to learn a much simpler platform so let me dive right in and share about this tool. So this is system.io, it's called. It's a company out of France. They've been around, I think, 2016, 2017. They're doing millions of dollars, so it's not like a, a new tool. They're gonna be gone next week or anything like that. And they have, um, I think, I wanna say they have 60, 70,000 customers in their system. So a lot of people are using it. It's much bigger in the France, in the European market, and they're kind of starting to bring it over here in the United States. So it's, it's newer over here in the States at least, um, but people are starting to catch on. A lot of people are ditching ClickFunnels, BuilderAll, Kartra, Kajabi for this all-in-one tool. So here's the dashboard. I really like this dashboard here. It rivals, uh, it's very similar to SamCart. So it shows your new leads, it shows total sale or your sales, and then it has live updates down the right-hand side. So if anytime you generate a new lead and or a new sale, it's gonna come up over here. SamCart does that same thing. And I used SamCart years ago, and I always like looking at that live updates of new sales coming in. So here's the dashboard. Uh, then they have the affiliate dashboard here, and then the marketplace where you can sell products and services. Uh, contacts, you just click over here to contacts. What's really cool about this tool, it's a little bit different, and if you're used to using any email platform, there's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period, but it's okay, I promise you. And I use a email software called BirdSend. It's a simple email platform, but they don't have email lists, or they don't leverage email lists. They You segment all your contacts by tags. And I'm seeing more and more email platforms starting to do this and get away from the email lists, because if you know anything about email marketing, after about six months, you probably have 63 different email lists with a lot of them with one or two subscribers or contacts, you know, but it gets very, very hard to manage because then you manage your email lists, then you also manage your email tags, and it gets very, very confusing. So BirdSend does the same way. Like I said, it took me a couple days, maybe a week to get over not having email lists, but man, let me tell you how much simpler it is to send off email emails to segments of my list via tags, not list and or tags, you know. So that's how system.io is the same way. You segment your database by tags. So you can create a contact here. You can import contacts. The tags feature is self-explanatory. You just add tags. I have a tag that I added in here uh, a couple of days ago. Master list, you can see how many subscribed today. Yesterday, total, and then total unsubscribed. Pretty basic stuff. So here is the funnel builder. I'll just kind of go in real quick. And what you can do is click, click create on the right-hand side. And we'll just do YouTube demo. And you can build an audience, sell, custom, or run an evergreen webinar. So we're just gonna build an audience, a real simple two-step funnel with a landing page and a thank you page. And here are the um, pages over here. If you wanted to add a step or add a page to your funnel, you would just click right here and add a step. Uh, here are all the different templates for landing pages. Again, these are all completely customizable. You can select it and or you can preview it. So let's check out this one right here. And you can name it here. You can change the URL path right here. You can save it, you can view it, and then you can edit it right here. So I just wanna show you real quick how easy it is to edit. If you're familiar with the ClickFunnels Builder, you'll realize it's about identical to it. As you can see, the outside section is the section, and it's in green, and then the second thing in is called a row, it's in blue, and then the, um, the inner one is called the text or image and it is in orange but again very very similar to click funnel so if you wanted to delete this you just hit the trash bucket if you wanted to change the um, change the font here go to google fonts and we'll select a different font i always use adamina there we go for that if i wanted to change the font color for whatever reason let me highlight it all and i look for the white 
there it is, text color kind of blended in. Let's say I wanted to change it to red or black, but really, really simple funnel um, page builder, I should say, page editor. Black doesn't look too good on this gray background, but you get the you get the point. You kind of just go through. If you wanted to remove this, enter your details below. Just keep it like that. And that's pretty much it on the funnel builder. What's really cool is ClickFunnels doesn't offer this, but other funnel builders do. I'm not sure why ClickFunnels does. It has all these elements, which are really cool. You could just kind of drag and drop. If you wanted to add a button in here, you could add a button in here. You can edit the button here. If you want to top, bottom, things like that, move it to the left or to the right, change color, change font and all that. But what you can do is add these blocks. So they have opt-in forms, features, page footers, team presentation, presentation welcome so let's just go here you're probably not going to do this on a landing page but you might do this maybe on the home page of your website or an about page of your website so let's just do a testimonial so we could add some testimonials so we could scroll down through here this one looks pretty good and then you just drag and drop whoops it came down okay so it comes down over here down into the next section here so if you wanted to add that to your landing page so I like that feature with the different uh, blocks here different blocks of text or images. Again, some funnel builders do it. I know ClickFunnels doesn't. Uh, so we'll hit save changes. We'll exit here. Uh, you can set up automation rules. This is really cool uh, on how you can set up like behavior automations, very similar to like an, an active campaign where you can do triggers and actions. This is a little bit more advanced. You don't have to do this. This can add complexity to it, to it, but it's cool that it's available. So you can add an action, subscribe to campaign, unsubscribe, add tags, remove tags, send emails. Um, email, uh, enroll in a course and then set up a webhook. And then down here you can do uh, more rules with if they visited a specific URL on your website or your landing page, you could fire off an email saying, hey, I, I noticed you checked out the sales page, but you didn't purchase. Is there any questions I could uh, answer for you? Something along those lines. Again, you can go very, very detailed with it, uh, but it kind of adds some complexity to it. So, But just know that it's there. If you wanted to split test your landing pages, you could go here. It shows your stats and then also your sales. So that's kind of a quick rundown of the funnels. Here are the emails. So the email newsletter, if you're sending a one-time email blast, as you can see, I have a couple of demos because this is like take number 17 on this damn video. So you'd create a newsletter here, really simple to do. Uh, campaigns, it's gonna be very similar. So a newsletter would be a one-time blast to your email database. A campaign would be a, an automated sequence that you set up. So here you set up, you click create to set up the sequence and then you add in all the emails. And if you go down here, you can check out the statistics. So number of emails sent, opened, bounced, and then reported as spam. Next one is the blogs here. I haven't really done anything with the blogs, but you could create a blog and this is how you create blog posts. Uh, next one is automations. I really like this. That's very similar to the automations we just looked at. Your list of rules is empty, so we have to create a rule first. So we'll add a rule. And again, it's the triggers. So we'll do a trigger. If it, see if they registered for a webinar, the campaign is completed. Like if the email sequence is completed, maybe you wanna do something. Maybe you wanna register for them for a webinar or whatever it is, enroll them in a course after they go through your email sequence. Again, this can get very, very detailed. Um, so don't confuse yourself with it. These automations are, like I said, more of an advanced feature, but it's really cool that you can do that. So email link clicked, you could fire off some type of an email for them, page visited. And then here's the different actions. So if they do this, then do this. So send an email, tag, things like that. Again, you're limited by your imagination with this behavioral stuff. Next one is workflows. So you click down to workflows here. Uh, and I'm not even 100% sure what workflow is. Let me just see if I can open this one. I created it the other day. Okay, so it's like an active campaign, that's right. And then you can just create kind of more of a visual workflow as opposed to just kind of the rules-based stuff. But then you can just click plus in the action here, choose action, add a tag, master list, create, and then you just kind of build it out so it's more of a visual look as opposed to just kind of clicking some buttons doing the uh, rule-based automations. Okay, the next section is products in sales. So you can create digital products. So right here I have a digital product, the 48-hour uh, ebook challenge that I set up. And this is, I created at the creation date. 
You can also offer coupons, uh, all the orders that come in, transactions, subscriptions, affiliate invoices, courses, course bundles, students, and you can offer you can also offer your own affiliate program, which is really cool, and you can offer that on the free uh, the free plan. And I'm going to go over the free plan in just a second here. But here's what you can do for courses. I just want to show you kind of what the membership area looks like. So here is a course that I created, the 48 hour ebook challenge. So you can look at the curriculum here. And as you can see, the module, you just do a drop down, you add lessons. So let's say I'm in lesson number two here. If you want to delay it before the previous lecture, you could delay it out one day, two day, three days, upload an image. And then if you wanted to do text or video, like I said, it's based out of France. So apparently text is spelt with an E in France. <laughs> so and then click save here. And then you can edit it right here and create your membership on uh, however you want it to look. Again, the elements are over here, just like the page builder. The blocks are over here, so you can drag and drop. Again, it, it's the page builder, very, very similar to the funnel builder. Click Save Changes. We'll exit out. And then what you can do is click this little eyeball, and it'll show you the preview. So this is what the course would look like for the students or your customers. You can upload an image here, a banner image. I obviously didn't do that. That's just the default one. The name of the course here, the instructor here, and then here you can see module one is mind, and so lesson one. So if they click here, it's going to be taken to lesson number one where they're going to go through, read the content, consume the video, listen to the audio, whatever it is. We'll go back to it. And then again, lesson two, module two is the market, module three message, module four machine, module five is the media. And again, you can add more modules, more lessons, but that's kind of what it looks like for the students and or the customers for like a membership or if you're selling some type of a digital course. So last but not least, let's go over the pricing and I want to kind of outline uh, what I talked about, like I said. So here it is right here. There's a link down below you can check. Uh, there should have been a link, uh, link the whole time on this video. So here's the free account. And again, it's they call it a forever free Free account it's not a free trial it's a free account so it's zero dollars a month you get up to a thousand contacts which is really really good you can send unlimited emails on the free account uh, you get three sales funnels you get um, 10 steps for your sales funnel you get a blog unlimited blog post you get one membership site and then as you can see you get one automation rule one workflow one <laughs> excuse me, one tag, one email campaign, but you can go down, but you can get started. This is pretty an awesome offer for free and you can get started. Obviously it's gonna be better if you upgrade to the $27 or $47 plan. However, this is more than enough to get started and get a funnel up and running and going, working for you. It integrates with Stripe, PayPal, run your own affiliate program. Again, on the free plan, that's almost hard to believe 24 7 email support uh, you don't get custom domains on the free plan which is completely understandable meaning it might have it, you your url would be something like adamdukes.system.io you know if you wanted custom domains you're gonna have to upgrade to this second tier here the startup which isn't bad at 27 bucks a month again you're getting emails you're getting sales funnels you're getting a website you're getting an affiliate program where you can recruit affiliates to sell your products or services and you can pay them out whatever type of affiliate commission you want uh, but all plans include unlimited emailing unlimited file storage so they allow you to upload videos which is really really cool unlimited unlimited membership site members, no transaction fees, affiliate program, and online support. Again, this is included in all the plans. So you can get started for $0 a month. Once you start getting going, once you start earning some money consistently, then you can upgrade to this $27 a month plan, which again, isn't bad for a completely all-in-one tool. Like I said, the last couple of days, I've been playing around with it. And so far, I like what I see. The page builder is a little bit different from what I'm used to, like with ClickFunnels. Like I said, it's very, very similar. Some of the things I'm not crazy about. However, I love the back end dashboard. I love the simplicity of it. Sending out an email is really, really easy to do. I was using Kartra for the last eight or nine months and sending out an email with Kartra was such a pain in the ass. I did like having the all-in-one platform that Kartra offers. However, I send out a lot of emails and to write, sit down and write an email. I had to click like 78 buttons, it seemed like, just to sit down and write an email with Kartra. With system.io, it's relatively easy to just kind of jump in right here, log in, and go right here to newsletter, a couple clicks of the button, and I could be sending out an email. So I'm still kind of playing around with it. I don't know if I'll jump over to it, but I definitely wanted to bring your attention because I see a lot of people asking about a ClickFunnels, a free ClickFunnels alternative or a ClickFunnels alternative, and all these marketers and these YouTubers and people on TikTok are all saying that you have to have ClickFunnels, and I hate when people say that because it's bullshit. You don't need to go out and spend $100 a month, especially when you're getting started, especially when there's a tool like this. So if you're 
interested in checking it out, check out the link down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S, and grab a free account and get started building your funnel with system.io. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you hit subscribe down below. Click that little bell notification because I release two videos each and every week for your viewing pleasure. As always, thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it.